Oh. And Drake, let's kick it off. All right. How's everybody doing, y'all? Over here. Yeah. What about you? Good. Okay. All right. Just waves. Just everybody's just waving. <laughs> no sounds, just waves. All right. That, that's cool. I'm I'm part mime, you know. Oh, there we go. Wow, John. I love it. <laughs> gotcha, <All right>. bro. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Always bring in the hype, John. Always bring in the hype. All right, so here's what we got for you today. We got something pretty good. Mitch and I were talking. And we were like, hey, what do the people need? What do the people need? And we were talking about all these things that like, you know what? You know what, what we really want to share? There's so much we really want to share. There's so much good stuff, right? But we were talking and I was like, you know, what people need right now is people need to think in terms of systems, right? Because if they think in terms of systems, they can be way further than where they currently are, right? Because people generally don't think in systems. They think in terms of mm, just right here, right now, in this current moment, right? And where does that lead people? Yeah, feelings, right? Feelings is not a system, people. Feelings is not a system. You wake up in the morning and you're like, I don't feel like going to the gym. You ain't going, right? That's not a system. And you're not going to get the result that you want, right? Um, going with the flow. That's right. People think going with the flow, that's not a system, right? If If you're working based on just going with the flow or... If what you're doing requires you, oh man, this is a good one. If what you're doing is like, imagine this. We were talking to Sandra on the podcast, right? And Sandra was telling us about all the work, the physical work that she has to do when she goes and visits her family in Cameroon, in Africa, right? And she's like, bro, you got to go. Like, I saw a picture of her where she's carrying something on her head and it looked like water. I, I'm not sure, but it looked like water, right? Imagine, imagine you have to go down to the river in order to fetch this massive, I don't know, 10 gallons of water. And that's going to last, I don't know, a day or two, right? And then in two days from then, you have to go back down to the, the water, the river and, and fetch another 10 gallons of water. Let me ask you, is that a system? The answer is no. <laughs> the answer is no. Right? But that's how most people live their lives. Right? The answer is no. That is not a system because if for whatever reason you're sick, if for whatever reason uh, you don't feel like going down and, and getting water that day, then you don't have water for that day, right? But if you had a system, that would be something that's like uh, something that allows the water to flow to you. you. You set up some pipes, some irrigation, and the water flows to you in your home. Guess what? We have a system here. I, I live in the US. I don't live in Cameroon, just so you guys know. Right? I live in Florida. We have a system where I can just turn the faucet and water will come out or turn the spigot and water will come out of the faucet, right? That's a system. Regardless of how I feel at all, whether I'm sick, if I don't feel like walking to the river, whatever, I just turn it, water comes out, right? Now, what makes people stuck is not having a system. All right, let me, let me say that back. What makes people stuck? Not having a system. Okay, all right. Woo. I was like, man, is it just me out here or what? <laughs> right? What makes people stuck is not having a system. Okay. Let me let me let me tell you what that looks like. What that looks like. 
imagine you are not having water. <laughs> imagine you are trying to survive. You are trying to make ends meet. And all you can focus on is just doing the next activity. It's like this. It's like, you ever hear me tell this story of you're going hunting? You're going hunting and you're looking for food. And maybe you come across some berries and you're like, oh, I got some berries. Great, cool. And then you get to eat those berries for the day. But then once you run out of berries, now you got to look for more berries. And maybe you see a rabbit or a squirrel and you're like, oh, I'm going to get them. And you give them a blow dart <laughs> and you catch that rabbit or that squirrel. That's great. You get to eat it for that day. But then what happens tomorrow? You're, you're constantly thinking, where am I going to get my next meal? That is not having a system. You'll be stuck there. You won't be able to focus on anything else other than just that. Having a system would be having a farm. If you had a farm where you're raising crops, you're raising animals, you know you're going to have food later on. It requires work now, but so does hunting. But you're creating a system for yourself so that you can have something to rely on. It's going to be there. You work the system on a regular basis. Now, okay, why is a system important? Because if you don't have a system, you're not going to progress. If you don't have a system, you're not going to progress. Think about it. Mitch, what was that story you were telling me? That was that story Sorry. about like... I shared a lot of stories. I know, I know. It was the story about... Uh, what, what did that guy say? That guy said he, he wanted to, to get fit. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh. <clears throat> okay. So picture this, okay? Husband and wife are sitting down, you know, they have to eat at a nice restaurant, you know, but it's a healthy, healthy restaurant, right? The, uh, the guy goes, okay, yeah, like I, I, I want to lose 20 pounds. I, I want to be fit. Okay. That's what he tells his wife. Anyone ever told someone else you, you want to be fit? Okay. So he tells wife, he goes, hey, I want to be fit. She goes, no, you don't. He's like, what? yeah yeah i want to be fit she's like no you don't he's like yes i want to be fit like that's my goal she goes no because if you wanted to be fit you would have created a system for yourself so that you would be fit like do you get that you can have the intention all day long but your real intention is showing your actions and yeah you can do the oh yeah i work out sometimes I went on a three mile run yesterday. Yeah. But you have a system to make sure you hit the goal. So the goal becomes automatic, right? That's what Drake and I are going to be talking about tonight is have a system so that the outcome is inevitable. So that it's, it's automatic that you become fit or it's automatic that you have the extra 10 K revenue. Or it's automatic that you have the partner of your dreams or that your relationship is thriving. Okay, that's the level of thinking we're going to get into. Another way of saying it's automatic is it's a given. It's a given. It's going to happen. It's inevitable, right? You don't have to worry about, ah, oh, is this going to happen? It's if you do the right actions long enough, then it's going to happen, right? So, Instead of, like, I'll tell you, I'll tell you my story. Is that okay if I tell you my story? <laughs> just, just shout, shout out Kevin in the chat. He goes, damn, just got hit by a two by four. <laughs> I love it. I'm glad to hear Kevin. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Because look, if, you, if you're going to the gym, right, if you're going to the gym on a regular basis, 
you have a workout plan, you have a meal plan. That's a system, right? If you go, like Mitch said, every once in a while, uh, when I feel like it, uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. You're going to be not fit for a lot longer than you actually want to be, right? So um, I'll tell you my experience with this. My experience with this is I wanted a relationship. I had been wanting a relationship for I don't know how long. Actually, I do. That's a lie. I know exactly how long I wanted a relationship because I was looking for it all the time. And I was like, I was at the point where I was just like, man, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to happen for me. It just doesn't work out for me. For people like me, like it works out for that guy over there. Yeah, that guy, he's confident. He's handsome. I, I know I'm handsome, but I'm just so awkward that it's just like, I, I repel people from me. I, and I don't know how to overcome that. And like, I get around people and they think I'm weird. And I think I'm weird. And oh my gosh. You ever feel that way about yourself? Where it's just like, okay, yeah, okay. It's not just me. All right, all right. <laughs> like, you just feel like, what do I do? What can I do? I've tried all these different things. It doesn't seem to work, right? That's where I was at. That's where I was at in terms of relationships. I could do other things just fine. I could like, I could pick up and go somewhere and learn a new trade or skill or whatever, just fine, no problem. Never had a problem with that, right? But when it came to relationships, it's just like, uh, excuse, excuse me, uh, 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 please. Uh, no, okay, all right, all right. Uh, hey, hey, uh, okay, never, never mind. I was that fucking awkward, right? And what changed that was something really interesting that I wasn't expecting. What changed that for me was a complete mindset shift. Now, I was, um, <laughs> I, my, I was looking at, for myself, uh, different gurus and things like that. I was looking at all these different ways of how I could attract someone to me. And I was like doing the law of attraction. I was like imagining nothing. I was uh, nothing but frustration. Right? I was doing the, the like dating coaches. And I was just like a little bit here and there, but it just felt like off, unnatural, right? I was like trying to trick somebody into a relationship with me. I was doing all this. Right? And uh, I, would, I would go to the clubs, even though I hated clubs. Absolutely hated clubs. I would literally fall asleep in clubs. I would go to the clubs just because uh, this is where you're supposed to find a date or something. I don't know. That didn't work. Um, and sometimes, sometimes I would accidentally somehow somebody would see me and they'd be interested in me and I'd keep my mouth shut long enough where, hey, this could be a relationship. And then uh, like about a week or two into it, I'm like, okay, how do I get out of this? Like, I, I, like my brain was just like, it's too much. Can't handle it. She's going to leave you. Leave her first. And I would, right? Mindset shift for me was this systems thinking to get unstuck Obviously, we talk about the tools here, right? I had a conversation with, with Avery, right? And we're going to have an exercise for you, just, just so you know. Just so you know. You're, gonna, you're not going to leave here not doing something. You're going to do something before you leave here so that you can have a shift too, okay? But I, <laughs> I talked with Avery. And this was after I'd gotten techno tier, right? And when we talked, he said, okay, how do you think of women? And I was like, um, I don't know, like it's tough. They're, they're crazy. I don't know. <laughs> what do you want from me? Right. And I had this shift with talking with Avery 
of, oh, okay, the way I think about women is not supporting me to get into relationships. That was one thing, right? But then the other thing was this. I needed to work on myself, work on my way of thinking, work on basically how I viewed relationships. And in doing that, here, let, me, let me tell you the things that I did, which was really interesting. I did my techno tutor. Right? I used Techno Tutor. I did DIP Light, right? And I uh, I read these blogs, Creation's Journey to Life and Heaven's Journey to Life. I did those three things on a daily basis, right? And doing those three things on a daily basis, it did these, it did something for me. And I'm gonna share this massive concept for you. You need to write these three words down. These three words. You're going to write these three words down. Ready? The words are transport, conversion, storage. Okay? Transport, conversion, storage. Okay? Transport is like this. Remember I was talking about that example of if you had, if you had water flowing to your house, right? If you had water flowing to your house, that would be more beneficial than you having to go to the river every day. Well, the transport is the water comes to you or something is flowing in. You have information flowing in. You have energy flowing in. You have materials flowing in, right? For me, what was flowing in was I was giving myself a new mindset on a daily basis, right? hearing information that's actually going to be supported. And I gave you those three things already, right? I gave you what I was, what I was putting into my mind on a daily basis, right? The second thing that happens then is a conversion takes place. A conversion takes place. Meaning I had this information coming in and Slowly, day by day, aha moments, ah, cognition. Oh, I just learned something. Oh, that makes sense. Yes, ah, hmm. There's a conversion where I'm shifting my mindset. I'm programming. You've heard us say this before. I was reprogramming myself for the life that I actually wanted or for the relationship that I actually wanted, right? And... The third thing that took place was, well, actually, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Mitchell share a bit about his story, and then we'll get back to it. How about that? Yeah. So everyone, I know um, many of you are stuck, and not just in one area of your life, but in many areas of your life. So we're hitting both on the relationships part as well as the financial part. I know many of you are already making very good money. Okay. However. We can go way more. All right, who here wants to go way more than whatever you've seen in your life? Like, you know what's good, but you want to go outstanding, right? Okay. Yeah. Let's get an amen for that. <laughs> a woman, <laughs> as they say in our US government. Okay. That was a joke. Um, so for me, for me, my issue uh, with systems, yeah, I have the same thing as Drake with relationship, uh, but a big one for me was money. I was so tired of having like, the inconsistent money. It was like, sometimes it was good. Most of the time it wasn't good. And uh, I was just um, not having effective thinking about it either. It's a huge part. So again, we'll do the exercise in a moment so we can get your systems really clear based on your outcomes. So we'll go through that in a moment. But what happened for me was I was approaching my business all over the place. Anyone ever had this? 
Some days you're really motivated. You're like, yeah, I'm going to go crush it. And then for like four days, you don't do anything. And then you're like, oh, shit, I'm running out of money. Okay, do a bunch of activity. Yeah. Okay. You'll see how that, you see how that's going to lead to a certain outcome, which is different than if you were to just say, nope, I have my set activities I'm going to do every single day for four hours a day. I'm going to do it whether I feel like it or not. I'm going to be like a robot. Just execute the task. You see how that, as long as you're doing the right things, see how that's going to lead to a little different outcome. Right. So that, my friends, that is what systems thinking can do for you. I'm not going to sugarcoat and pretend like, oh, systems thinking is super fun and operating in a system is just fun all the time. No, but the outcome is way more fun when you make a bunch of money because you're able to just execute the right thing. Okay. So yeah, I was able to zoom out because I used to get really narrow-minded and I would just obsess over like a few things, like how much money was in my bank account. And it would, I would, it would usually make me depressed. <laughs> I would obsess over like a few metrics in my business, like how much profit I made that day. And a lot of times it was negative. So it also made me depressed. <laughs> and then I would obsess over listening to training that I didn't need to listen to. So I'd be like, ah, I'm just kind of stressed. I got to just go on a walk and like, you know, listen to, you know, some more Kevin Trudeau. <laughs> Meanwhile, the whole thing I needed to do was just sit down, research products, create the product page put in the product description, plug it in to my website, make sure that I had ads up, written in a specific way, ABC formula, and then launch the ads and then look at the data in a very specific way. That was the system. And then more I could just go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G over and over and over. Guess what? The more money I made. So it's this amazing thing that happens with any real business you're able to break it down into specific steps. And this might be the most painful thing you've ever heard me say. But if you can just sit down and get it into words, step one, open this website. Step two, click the blue button. Step three, read this and write this here. Step four, that kind of thing. Or let's say with Drake's example, right? Or like for me, when I was finding a relationship, it was like, Step one, find three events to go to this week. Step two, open Google Calendar. Step three, click on Google Calendar to make a new event. <laughs> Step four, go to the event and smile. <laughs> Step five, like, you know, ask these, ask one of these three questions to the people that I meet. Like, that's a system. Here's a pro tip. I have paid a lot of money to figure this out, and people have paid me a lot of money to have this, and I'm just going to tell you like it is. If you can write out what you need to do in order to get the outcome you want in steps, so easy that a third grader could do it. You will never have trouble again in terms of getting that outcome. Okay, okay. okay. okay make sure you're giving them too much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Man. I don't think they understood it. I don't think they understood it. But, but I'm going to come back and finish this, right? Because I know you're going to have something for them to actually do so they can implement this, right? So before we get too far ahead, here are some things that you need to know, right? You need to be doing something on a regular basis. That's your transport. There's a conversion that takes place, right? You have these little cognitions every day, right? For that, I would suggest use your techno tutor, right? And what you'll see is a cumulative effect, a cumulative effect that will have greater and greater results, greater impact. And that's the storage. That's the storage that we're talking about. You have a cumulative effect. If you accumulate, you've, you've heard the example, and maybe you haven't heard this example, but it's a really good one. If you were to take a penny and double it, Every day for 31 days. Do you know how much you would have at the end of 31 days if you kept doubling the number that you got every single day? That's just 3 million. Yeah, that's just about right. Right? That's just about right. If you take two to the 31st power, 
right? And you multiply that by a penny, <laughs> you'd have just under 3 million, right? Now, the significance of that is this. The significance of that is that's a cumulative effect. When you double a penny, you only have two pennies. When you double two pennies, you only have four pennies. When you double four pennies, you only have eight pennies, right? But by the time you get to day 30 of doubling the pennies, you got a lot. You're in the millions. Make sense? So um, that's the storage part. That's the part of the effect of what you're doing that has this almost like a doubling effect, you could call it. Because it's not just one little thing you're adding. You're adding one thing to all the other things that you added. And those things work together cohesively. Where it's like, it's as if you did just 10 things by adding one more thing. Yeah. Right. W- one thing to just add to this quick, like to look at transport, conversion, and storage. Because these words, once it becomes automatic and you can start to see it, it's amazing. You can't unsee it. So look at transport is the fact that money is free flowing every day. There's like trillions of dollars are exchanged every single day. It's all over. Okay. There's banks everywhere. There's an abundance of money. Now, conversion is you getting that money to come to your account or you using your money to also convert. So new actions happen, new activity happens. That conversion piece, a lot of people get messed up on this. Okay, that's like a whole separate training. When you know the right words, the right activity, you can build a system so that the conversion can happen. And then storage is a form of money. Storage is money in a sense. Like if you look at your bank account and the numbers on the screen, or you look at your team size, or you look at your metrics of your activity, that's all a form of storage. So I know all of you, I'm, I am pretty dang sure would like to have a massive, massive, massive amount of storage. Think of how good, just take a moment. How good would it feel if you just had, and maybe some of you already have this, if you had the 3 million just sitting in an account, you didn't even touch it. Would you act differently? Would you think differently? Would you feel different? Like really, really look at that because that shows you a lot. It might be a whole blind spot for you, okay? But now there's one other part. I I mean, there's a few, but uh, in terms of systems, there's one other key part. Drake, tell us the part. Uh, Yeah, that other part is basically you need feedback. If you're just going, 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 going without any sort of feedback, you're not judging that feedback, then you're just going. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going in the right direction right? You need feedback. The feedback supports you to know, hey, I need to make another input. I need to, oh, like, like what Mitch was saying. He's looking at the, the, the business that he was doing and he's going, oh, we are negative in profit, right? That's good feedback. That's good feedback to have, right? And then you know, I can change this. Or if you are setting out to go do something and it's not working for you, why is it not working? That is really great feedback to have. Why is this not working for me? What is it that's stopping me, preventing me? So then you know what parts to change. And then you could have more conversions. And more conversions equals more storage, which equals a better life for you. You get the right storage, the storage that you want, right? Um, and so what's what, a way to look at this, here's an interesting way to look at this. It's like either you're adding to you or something is taking from you. What I mean by that is this. Look at it like this. You have a spigot. <laughs> you're a faucet. You have a spigot. Right. And either something is adding into you, you are constantly adding into you, your storage is building up, or 
you're using all of your energy and your storage is being depleted. So you're running around trying to build something and you know, you're in the negatives. Guess what? Something's coming out of your bank account. It's depleting you, right? So what are your systems set up to do? If you look at your situation self-honestly and you go, I'm not where I want to be and it's not getting better. Your, your system's turned the wrong way. You need to use the system in the right way. That's why it's systems thinking, right? You need to shift what you're doing to make a system for you that works for you. You're already participating in a system. But if your system is not working for you, you need to shift that. You need to understand the system so that you can change it. It would be like, I don't know, <laughs> like you're looking at your engine and you're like, I don't understand this thing. And it's not working. Versus a mechanic looks at the engine and they go, oh, here's the problem. They can fix it. That's the feedback. Right? Oh, there's some engine knocking. You put in the wrong gas. Good feedback. Right? Um, Mitch, I know you had an exercise for us, right? Uh -huh. Okay, look, before you do that exercise, would it support you, for those of you here live with us, would it support you to know what's something that you can do right now that will get you into this mindset of systems thinking that's going to support you in the future to actually get the things done that you need to get done? Would that be supportive for you? If so, just put yes in the chat. Is that, Mitch, I feel like we gave them a lot already. And like, if they're not. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me just add a little bit of context here. The first time I ever heard of systems thinking was from a friend. I was uh, working alongside him at a startup accelerator. And um, he had this book one day. He was reading it. I'm like, dude, what is that? It's called like uh, The Art of Systems Thinking, I think by... Uh, I'll, I'll find out. I can put it in the chat later. And uh, I'm like, dude, what does that even mean? What is that? He goes, yeah, I'm not really sure, but my dad's friend works really high up in the government. And he says that every single year for the past 20 years, they, they basically have to reread this book every single year. Because when you're dealing with something as big as government, or let's say a, a huge company, or even something as simple as your life and how you want to be fit or lose weight or whatever, it's like, unless you're aware of the bigger picture and how it fits together, you'll just be looking at one part of it. It's like that, you know, the old uh, analogy where you get like five blind men and they all like touch in an elephant and one touches the tusk. He's like, oh, it's like a spear. The other one touches his foot and it's like, it's like a, you know, a tree. That's, that's like what we are as we look at our life. We're touching a different part of it, failing to see it's a giant elephant. So systems thinking allows you to see it as the big elephant that it is. So, Drake, what was the point you want to share? Then we'll then we'll dive into the exercise. That's awesome. No, actually, that is that is spot on. You took the words better than I could say them, because, uh, I mean, I'm thinking of five guys touching an elephant right now. Five blind guys touching an elephant going. Oh, it's a, is it a snake? And he's like, oh, that's the trunk, <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, no, that's it. What, what you're saying is right. If you're looking at just an individual piece, that's great. Okay, cool. But you need to zoom out. You need to zoom out. Look at the whole picture. If you're, if you're stuck where you are right now and you've been there for a while, guess what? You're not thinking in terms of systems you're still focused on the, I don't want to say it's a menial task, but you're focused on just an individual thing, not a system. And if you're focused on the individual thing, it's going to be very difficult to support yourself into a different situation. So you want to get unstuck? I saw a lot of yeses. I saw a lot of yeses in the chat. Hey, right. give it to us, Mitch. What is it? Okay. So everyone, part, part of the system 
with you as a human, okay, is you got to know why you want something. If you don't have a compelling why, pretty freaking hard to make a change. Because holy, just... holy fuck! <laughs> Stop right there. That's it. Know your why, guys. That's it. Good night. <laughs> This is good. This is so good. Oh, dude, dude, I was listening to a guy talk the other day and he was saying, actually, I was talking about Avery just today. And he was saying, um, you have to have not just a strong why. You have to know why you're doing something, right? But that creates within you the standard of what you're going to do. Right? Like, like if you have high standards, if you have high standards, you're not going to allow yourself to miss the gym. It's funny because I was talking to, with Avery and he was at the gym. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> if you have high standards, you're, you're not going to allow yourself to miss the gym. You may not want to go to the gym. This is what Mitch was saying earlier. Sometimes systems aren't really like fun. You may not want to go to the gym. You may not want to go outside for a walk. You may not want to do the things that you need to do in order to get the result that you want. But if you know your why, man, Mitch hit it right on the money. Man, if you know your why, and it's, it's a strong enough why, it's a big enough why. And by the way, if you have, <clears throat> if you have questions about, well, how do I get my why strong enough? How do I get my why big enough? Definitely reach out to Mitch or myself. Okay. We're not going to go into that because that's a whole nother call. But yeah. if you have a strong enough why, a big enough why, you can set your standards really high for yourself and you can accomplish so much. Keep going, Mitch. This is, this is. Yeah. Okay. So everyone grab your pen and paper. I'm sure you, many of you have it out already, but um, first off, okay. Write out the three, give or take, okay? Could be two, could be four. But let's just say the three areas in your life where you know you're stuck. Like self-honesty, you're like, shit, yeah, I'm stuck here. You don't have to share it with anyone, but just where you know you're stuck, okay? So write that out for yourself. And this will be recorded. So if you want to listen to this again, you can. Okay, next. Write out what it would look like to be unstuck. Like, what would you like it to actually look like? Not the big grandiose thing, just reasonable outcome. And for those of you who got extreme outcomes, write it down. Now, my friends, this is where the rubber meets the road. This is the, I call it the thinking time. This is where you use your mind. You know how a lot of these success gurus talk about it's 90% thinking, 10% action. Well, this is the moment for you to show up and, and put in that mind effort, okay? So you got the outcome that you want in the three areas, okay? I'm gonna encourage you again, write down now, why you must get that outcome, okay? Why must you get that outcome? Come on, write it down. Come on, do it. You can do it. Why must you get that outcome? Otherwise, you know you're going to fucking loop. And then a week from now, you're going to be like, oh, when's the next training? I need the next training because I need the next shiny thing. Don't worry. We'll have another training. But... <laughs> Come to that training with a big win instead of a loop. Okay. So right, right at why must you figure this out, okay? So for the sake of this call, because we want to keep it solid on time, pick the most scary one. Out of your, if you're at about three, which one you just have the most resistance to? You're like, ah, it's just, ah, I just don't even like looking at this thing, okay? Now what you're going to do, okay? 
is you're going to write down steps. One, two, three, like however many steps it takes, okay? So can someone throw out an example for me? This will work really well if we have an example. Like what's one outcome you just know you got to hit? More Some, money. More money, okay. Cash flow positive, okay. One sale a week with TT, okay. Great, great. Okay, so these are financial related. We'll just do financial related then, okay. So this is what you're gonna do. I'll give you, I'll give you an overview of the instructions and then I'll make it very specific. So just hear me out for a moment. What you're gonna do is you're gonna write out for yourself the physical actions you need to take to get the result you want. For example, step one, open my phone. Step two, look for my contacts. You know, step three, press the button to call them. Step four, say these four questions to the person when they answer the phone. Step five, get them to a meeting. Step six, blah, blah, blah. Like that would be the exact thing. Now, this is going to be a living, breathing document for you where your system, you're going to get draft one down right here, right now on the call. And then I'm going to share one other way to now plug this into a bigger system so that the success is virtually guaranteed. Everyone down to have your success virtually guaranteed as long as you show up? Everyone like that? Like that idea? Okay, great, great. Look at us. We're the team. We're the team that's going to win, baby. All right. So, so my friends. Okay. What I want you to do for the next 45 seconds is I want you to now take that outcome that you want and really think through, like use that thinking muscle of yours, okay? And write down specifically what steps have to happen, ideally in order, but just get them out. What do you need to do to actually get that outcome, which is cash flow positive, it would mean you need to make, let's say five sales per month of your product. Or even just cash flow positive is like, you need to make more money than is going out, right? Yeah. So you know exactly what's going out. You should have a count of that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so you're going to get the heart of it written out right now, but then there's likely going to be some precursors to it and some post things to it. But let's just say, make it really freaking plain, like you were teaching it to a third grader. Okay. Step one, turn on the phone. Step two, open the, press the contacts button. Step three, press the call button. Like, Make it for a third grader, okay? And right now, you don't have to go super in-depth. You can do that after. But just get the heart of it down, okay? Give you 25 more seconds. Guys, this is so good. Like, the little this is gem. what 99% of people won't do because it's too painful. Yeah. The little gems that Mitch is dropping and he says it like so nonchalantly. So it's just like, it sounds like, eh, whatever. But it's so good, actually. If you actually apply this, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So now you got your, let's say there's seven or eight steps. Okay. Now you probably got some precursor steps to that. Because if, let's say, again, the example with the finances or, or you're looking for a job or whatever, it's like, maybe you're like, okay, well, I know if I just, pick up the phone and talk to the people. That's good. But how do I know who to call? Hmm. Okay. So now you need a system for who to call. Maybe you got to use social media. Maybe you got to knock on people's doors. Maybe you got to ask for referrals. Like, so there's going to be a system that then leads to that system. I know this is like a really meta thing. And some of you might've already glossed over and been like, ah, oh, too much. But yeah. So like Jewel says, knock on doors. Great. So then you just got to have your system for from when you wake up to then what clothes do you wear? You know, how do you show up? How long are you going? Is it in your calendar? That kind of thing. Okay. So here's the last part to bring it all home because we're two minutes over on time. Okay. This is a system that has served me extremely well for a long time. Okay. Again, remember why you want to get the outcome, right? So you don't get lost in the sauce and now you're like, oh too much no okay you remember why because how good is it going to feel when you break through this okay so 
this system has served me very well. I'm also very type A and pretty hardcore. So maybe you got to very, you know, make a variant of it, make the Omicron version of it. So this is what you do. You get the app called Google Calendar. You download it. You make sure you got a Google email or whatever calendar. You can have your planner. You can do whatever the heck you want. But just you have some form of calendar and you make the commitment to say, I'm going to respect this calendar. I'm going to honor this. Yeah, like Jewel. Yeah, you see that nod? That's a nod of a man who has fucking certainty. He knows the calendar is the answer. Okay. I'm going to say this jokingly. If you're religious and this triggers you, well, look at that. Calendar equals God. Calendar equals God. Okay. The more you respect the calendar, the more every, yeah, live or die by the calendar, says Jude. Okay. The calendar is a system. It has transport, conversion, and storage all in one. Okay. And this is the system. This is, again, people pay me a lot of money for this. I pay people a lot of money for this. This gem right here. The first part of your day where you hit that flow state, like after you had your cup of coffee, you know, you took your shower, you got your favorite slippers on, whatever the fuck you do, and you hit that flow state, you give yourself a 90-minute chunk. Start it simple. Start with 30 minutes so it's not too overwhelming. Put on some music without lyrics, whatever it is. But in that time, that is where you do the task. That system, the system's thinking where you focus on this and you give yourself the space and time to do the really hard thing. Okay. So maybe tomorrow morning when you do this, and let's say it's 9 a.m. 9 a.m. is when you're committed to do it and you're going to do it for 30 minutes. Tomorrow at 9 a.m., you basically, we call it the one thing. It's the one thing you can do that makes everything else easier or irrelevant. I'm going to repeat that one more time. This is the question you can ask yourself to prompt you for this time in your day, which is the system that will make everything else in your life work, provided you have the programming for it. Key point. Okay. So the question you ask yourself is, what is the one thing that I can do that makes everything else easier or irrelevant. What is the one thing I can do? I'll give you a little hint. Tomorrow, it's probably take this draft one of your system and make it a little bit more robust and get it into your calendar. So if you're Jewel and you know you're not going to door knock at 9 a.m., maybe you are, but maybe you're like, ah, no, the best time to door knock is actually two to seven. Great. But now you just make damn sure that you got your numbers, you know, where you're going to knock. The whole system is laid out for you. So you can just show up or you could teach a third grader how to do it for you. I say the third grader thing because it, it explains how it's like you can make it mindless. Okay. Yeah. And Jewel, Jewel asked in the chat for anyone who can't see, said, and during this time, we're doing the exercise you just showed us. That's what you would start with. Yeah. This is like billionaire hour. Like when Warren Buffett starts his day talking to his business partner, Charlie Munger, and then he decides what he's going to read that day. This is the time where you really can see clearly. And then after it's over, you get to work on the system. Okay. But this gives you that space to breathe and to think and go, okay. Yeah, if there was like 10 steps of what I actually had to do today to actually like make myself be cash flow positive or make myself make more money or the outcome I want. What do I actually have to do? And you write it out first, game changer. Otherwise, you'll get sucked on to Instagram because we post all these, you know, catchy memes, you know, self-perfected memes. All of a sudden you're laughing and you're like, oh shit. Oh yeah, I should perfect myself. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Or you'll be on, you know, you'll be watching videos of Christine making some amazing dinner for Drake. And then it's like, oh shit. Right. So this is you bringing yourself back to directing yourself. But how do you direct yourself and what do you do when you're in money-making mode or when you're in focus mode or when you're trying to lose the weight or you're getting that relationship? This is what you do. You do the steps in your system. And if you get stuck, you can reach out to me or Drake. The one condition though, 
you got to make your effort first before you reach out. So if you're like, hey, I tried this system thing. This is what I got. Send a picture and then send a message to me or Drake. That's totally cool. If you're like, what's the system? I'll be like, watch the training. And then you can reach out to me, okay? So my friends, that is how you get unstuck through systems thinking. It has helped me. It has helped Drake. There's so much to this. It's amazing. This will be recorded. I would definitely add training into your system as well. Mini day. If you don't know what mini day is, maybe that could be our next one. But yeah. There's one thing you do every day. It's at 9 a.m. or whenever you get in your flow state, you drink your coffee and you're in the zone because that's when you're most fresh. That's when you have the most brain power, willpower, everything. That's when you do the thing you really don't want to do because when you do that, everything else is easy. Okay. Hey, I wanted to say something. Mm -hmm. Take a penny and you double it every day for 31 days. It's not 3 million. I'd only gone to 29 days. Isn't it? 29. Yeah. What is it? 2.6 2.6 million, right? At at 28 day, or 30 days rather, at 30 days, it's 5.3 million. At 31 days, it's 10.7 million. 10.7 million. That's the cumulative effect of what you're doing. So right now you may see just a doubling of a penny. I mean, like big whoop. But keep at it. That is where the magic happens. Right, dude, this is freaking great, Mitchell. Like that exercise. If you haven't started that exercise, what are you doing? We just gave you time and space to do it right now. Come on. Your why? Your why was definitely not big enough then. Why <laughs> sucks? If you didn't just <laughs> why sucks. Okay, you definitely need to do more, right? But we give you the time and space to do it here now because we know it's much harder to do it when you're on your own. What were you going to say, Mitch? Yeah. So one last part on systems, everyone, just so you can see this from a new level. These Wednesday calls and the Friday calls in Self-Perfected, as well as the emails we send out and the posts, the upcoming event, using the tools, all of that, that's all a system. It's all designed where if you just plug in, show up, participate, play full on, that, that's a system that will get you where you want to go. Again, you still got to show up. That's your, that's on you, but that's why we have self-perfected. Our goal is to have the greatest Facebook group where we teach you more than people pay 20K, 50K for coaching. You get it for free with us because we want to see you get super rich, super effective, super wealthy, super powerful. So that way we can do really big things in the world on a systemic level, systems thinking, so we can really change the system to make the world something better than we've ever seen before. That takes a little time, okay? But we're compounding it every day, just like that penny. So everyone, thanks for being on. It's fun, Yeah. okay? We gotta wrap this baby up because we went way over time. We went like 10 minutes over than we, yeah. right? But if you got any value out of this, go ahead and make some noise and uh, let Mitchell know that his time was worth it. And Drake. Woo! I learned pickup yeah, skills from Drake. Thanks, guys. <laughs> President Thanks, of the US, yeah. yeah. Mitch, oh, yeah. appreciate you, fellas. Thank you. Thanks for the music. Great work, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Drake and Mitch. Bye, guys. Thanks for being on. Bye, bro.